is Shani today here. Welcome back to another Sims 4 on console tips and tricks video. I know it has been a hot minute since I've done one of these, but there have been a lot of changes coming into the game. A lot of you can actually, if you do watch the series and the playlist of the tips and tricks, in that they release something and I'll be like, cool, this is how you do X, Y, and Z. And then a, a later update then breaks that and then there's a different way. So a lot of my tips and tricks videos are either outdated or I literally have to say either this or this will work depending on what kind of version of the game you're playing. So I actually decided to take a tip, step back from doing tips and, uh, tips and tricks until they brought in keyboard and mouse support for The Sims 4 on console. And that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm specifically playing on an Xbox One, but I'm pretty sure all of this carries over into PlayStation as well. If you are only going to still be using a controller, don't fret. I have done a bunch of videos about control uh, control while using a controller so you can check those out in not only the description below but should be up in the cards right now but let's jump into the controls for using a mouse and keyboard on console for the sims 4 straight off the break of course you're going to either need your controller but you also are going to need a mouse and then your <laughs> keyboard naturally i actually have a bluetooth mouse and keyboard set that are wireless that both work off the same dongle so i'm not taking up two usb ports i am only taking up one which has become really really valuable because i find that eventually all of my usb um, ports are completely full on the console you can plug in a hub but who wants to go through that much effort just to play some console games, right? I also am going to just show you the difference between controlling it with a controller and then of course controlling the camera with a mouse and keyboard uh, because with the introduction of using the keyboard, you can switch over to the Sims 3 camera given that there's a little bit more complexity in that. So by default, you will be using the Sims 4 camera. Now, the main difference for me is how the Sims 4 camera allows you to actually straighten out once you come a little bit closer and then it'll tilt back up once you zoom a little bit out so it's a very slight difference and not everyone will really notice it but that is the main difference between having the sims 4 camera and the sims 3 camera enabled now you can see this is the normal screen for the sims 4 with controller as soon as i activate my mouse you'll see how that jumped up into the top right hand corner there and it gives you a lot more different options now it will still be by default based off of that uh, Sims, 4 uh, Sims 4 camera as you can see I'm scrolling in and out now with my scroll wheel but to get into the options we can go just options menu and we're going to go into game options so you want to obviously get to a game camera and you'll see that this is something that's been added here in that the Sims 3 camera which I just want to show you something. The second I activate back to the controller settings, that is going to disappear. I just pressed one button on my controller and it switched back immediately default control and uh, default camera back into The Sims 4. Going to click back into the mouse settings and boom, bam, Bob's your uncle back to the option to choose the Sims 3 camera. Now I just want to quickly apply changes just so I can show you the visual difference between the two cameras. This is now Sims 3 camera using the mouse. It doesn't do that tilt pan anymore. You can see it's just a straightforward zoom in, zoom out, and you can control it otherwise. I'll obviously jump into how to control and make those differences, but that is the key difference between playing with a mouse and keyboard and then of course playing with a controller is the fact that with keyboard and mouse you can change into that sims 3 camera where you are actually able to do a bunch more things with your mouse rather than what you could do with your controller and just a quick to show you once again those settings are all up at the top there the second i reactivate my controller boom bam that is gone and you lose those options obviously because you can bring those up while using your controller so bringing this back into the options just going to go make sure that my sims 3 camera is enabled again because it resets to default whenever you do the switch over between the two and then i do have edge scrolling enabled but if we go back here you'll see that if i zoom out and i go to the edge of my screen it doesn't move if i go here it doesn't move it doesn't move here it doesn't move there so i'm not entirely sure but i will jump into the controls on how to make sure that you can still edge scroll and everything in between now to jump into the mouse settings uh you obviously to select things you're going to be using your left click which is as always that is how you use a normal mouse and then the right click 
will center your screen into where that cursor is. So if you just want to get somewhere really quickly, all you're going to do is right click on the area. Obviously to zoom in and out without the tilt of the Sims 4 camera, you're going to use the scroll wheel. Z and X also zoom in and out. For those of you who were wondering, if you want to zoom in and out with your keyboard, you instead of using your scroll wheel, you can use Z and X to zoom in and out. And then if you want to rotate, then you can actually hold your scroll wheel in and it'll bring up that option here. So this is actually allowing you to give that free camera movement where you can actually go left, right, up and down to change that angle. And this is where you get that same kind of Sims 4 tilted in on the ground, but you actually just have to do it manually, but you can rotate around. This is very great, especially if you're using the tab function, but we'll move into that a little bit later but that just allows you to move around. But obviously, I don't want to have to right click everywhere to recenter my screen. And because edge scrolling is a little bit strange at the moment, to move your camera around without the game throughout the world, you're going to hold in that right click button and you can move around. It'll follow you around as you go and wherever you please. That is how you conveniently move around the world. So once again, zooming in and out with that scroll wheel, tilting up and down, left and right with holding the scroll wheel in, and then to just just move the camera freely you're going to hold in the right click but if you just want to get somewhere quickly it's a singular right click back to the option so we can go back here to the family that we're going to be playing with we just open up here and we grab stuff out of the inventory it's a click and drag very stock standard click and drag place this back in the inventory like that. Uh, so that is using the left hand key. Now on the keyboard side, which is what I obviously want to go a little bit more in depth in. If you ever play The Sims on PC, all of those hotkeys all work exactly the same. Because as you will note, if we go into options, there is no way to view the controls. So there is no way to view where I can change controls, I can change hotkeys. There's no way to view these. So you'll majority of the time have to go and actually check what the PC controls are like. But I am going to run through some of the very quick and easy ones and the ones that I think you're going to need. If there are any functions that I don't cover in the video that you'd like me to go through, please let me know in the comments below and I can make sure to either respond to you either in comment form or by making a separate video. Now for the keyboard controls, they're actually very straight forward to switch your sims and switch between your sims. All you're going to do is you're going to press space bar and that will change between the active sim. To pause and unpause, you guessed it, you're going to press the P button on your keyboard and then just to re-pause you can do that. To get to your menus button, if you don't want to use the options up there, you just need to press escape and that'll take you to the menu option and to get back out of that you'll press escape. So most pop-up screens you can exit out of by using escape. If you've got into a menu here and you want to get out of that, you can either press escape or you can click there and then click somewhere else and then you can just right click to get out of that. To move forward, backwards, left ways, right ways, you can instead of using the mouse like I showed you a little bit earlier, you can either use your forward, back, left and right keys or you can use WASD. Obviously, you don't want to have to go here whenever you want to change your view of the walls. So all you need to do is you need to press home to go up and then you press end to go down. So currently I'm all the way down. So that is all the way down to end. So I'm just going to press home once. That'll give you the cutaway. Home twice will give you all the walls up. And then if I want to pour, bring those back down again, you will just press end on your keyboard and you'll press end. That'll take you down to cutaway. And then of course, and again, we'll take you to all walls down. To get up and down different stories, I am only in a one story house, but to get up and down levels, you can just use the page up, page down buttons. And then that is very stock standard. Page up to go upstairs, page down to go downstairs. If I had more levels, you'll be able to see that regardless. But you could also just use, if you're more inclined to use your mouse, then you can use the arrow keys up and down on that side. You will have a notice here. You can go into camera controls. You can do everything that I've just gone through here as well. You can rotate a little bit, can rotate a little bit that way. They also do tell you that you can rotate with the arrow keys, which are on the screen right now. That is what they look like. But of course I did show you earlier with that mouse, which is quite 
easy and then just to zoom in and out as i showed you earlier with that scroll wheel very very straightforward very stock standard but no one really wants to rely on this when you can do everything straight with a mouse without having to rely on keyboards uh, we can switch back to Sims 4 camera here, but of course we do want to stay in Sims 3 camera just because it's a little bit easier for us. Sims 4 camera you can bring in here, but of course by default you want it on that Sims 3 camera because it's just so much easier. Uh, especially when using the mouse hotkeys and mouse hot takes like I am busy going through with you now. If you're a Sim YouTuber like I am, and you want to get really up close and personal, not only with your Let's Plays, but to get some really decent screenshots. Then we zoom in here, and that's really cool, but of course you do still have your heads-up display all over the place. So all you need to do is you need to press the tan button, and this will bring you into the free camera mode, which I know I did do a video on when we were using the controller, but this is a lot more detailed with the mouse and keyboard. I can rotate up and down if I want to zoom all the way in there. I'm going to move forward using my arrow keys, front, back, up, ways, down, ways, and I'm going to zoom in and we can zoom in all the way there on that little bit of a pixel ball and we can rotate just a little bit more, move a little forward and then we can turn around and we can have a look at the back of the Sims head and of course zoom back out again. So a lot more fluid and a lot more in depth with the tab option now with mouse and keyboard than it was when it was on controller. But that is just something. And as always, to get out of anything, you just want to press that escape button. The other really, really rad bit is instead of having to do the cheats option by pressing L1, R1, L2, and R2 together, all you need to do is control shift C and that'll bring up the type command there at the top. You can type in all of the cheats that you want to type in and then escape once again will take that out. If you want to change speeds on the fly, you can also just press 1 for real speed, 2 for double, and then 3 of course for that triple speed. Slow back down will take you there and then 0 will take you to the pause function but also that P button will be able to pause and unpause. You've got all of those options that will show up when hovering over them. So aspirations will be G on the keyboard, career will be J, you will have skills, which is L. You'll have relationships, which is R. Your inventory is the key, the I key. Symology will be Y. And then you can have a look at needs, which will be O. Then clubs is U, depending on which packs you have. Owned businesses, however, does not have a keyboard shortcut. Interestingly enough, if you zoom all the way out, of course, this travel option is something that it's always been there. Uh, it's usually that magnifying glass if you're playing with the controller. But if you press M, that'll take your entire family immediately and allow you to travel with them. Uh, that'll take you into the travel option here where you can choose to go to different words. So that is the M key. And then just to get back home again, you will need to press that X button. Of course, F1 is live mode. And then we go into F2 will be build and buy mode. That has been like that since Sims 1 as far as I remember. But if we go into build and buy mode here now, the only real things that is different here is if I grab the bookcase and you want to make it bigger or smaller, you will be using your bracket keys. Um, so obviously bigger will be the right hand side bracket, smaller will be that left hand side bracket. For free placements, if you pick up, obviously this is going to be on the grids, but to move it in and around while having that free placement mode, you will be holding in Alt before placing. So that'll give you the free option there to be able to place. To rotate, you're gonna be using the left and right arrow keys at 45 degree angles. If you don't wanna use the keyboard, then you just need to hold in the left click and that'll also rotate at the <laughs> Uh, 45 degree angles but obviously that's not exactly what we want we want that free rotation magic so what you're going to do is the same with the free move option where you hold in alt while moving that down if you now turn this while holding alt in you will be able to free rotate this to your heart's content and it's out of the boundaries of that 45 degree angle and that is while holding in alt and using your left arrow key to rotate around. If you're placing a lot of things and this is actually something that I happened to come across by complete accident is we're going to quickly rotate something and we're going to place it and then we're going to hold in shift at the same time. I can then place multiple of the same ones while holding in shift in that I can place all of the bookshelves 
and then just to press exit to get out of there and then undo 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 Control Z if you're looking to undo while using that keyboard option as of course with any uh, option you will have that Control Z function but that is free rotation as well as copying if you're placing multiple objects then you just hold shift in when placing that down and then that will allow you to place many and then undo will be control Z. F3 doesn't do anything, but F4 will be able to open that gallery for you, which will bring that out here for you. As we see, we have a lot of new things that have been re recently added in that update. But that is of course the library, sorry, gallery is not on the console, but it's really useful to know that there are all of these object, the all of these options Control Y will redo and then Control Z will undo. Sledgehammer, as it always has been, it has been K. And then Design Tool is R. Your eyedropper will be E. And then so on and so forth. Press F1 to go back to live mode. But that is a very basic rundown of the normal controls that I feel that you should be using in your Sims 4 console game now with mouse and keyboard support. If there's anything that I didn't cover in this guide, then please just let me know in the comments below and I'll either check it out and I'll get to you in the comments and in the form of a reply or I'll actually do a separate video on it if I think it's going to benefit many users. Uh, but that is just what I thought might be a little bit useful. Once again, if you are just looking and you're a little bit stuck and you don't really want to go watch through an entire YouTube video, then just the best is to hover over your different options and you can just have a look at the keyboard shortcuts that it does have gestured there when you hang hover over your different options there if it doesn't have one then clearly it's not going to be able to have a keyboard shortcut and you'll just have to press that by mouse manually like for example if you want to censor your current lot you can just press shift enter which of course will be like that but to bring up your calendar it doesn't have a keyboard option for that so you will need to click that if you do have seasons installed but that is pretty much it and that's going to be it for the video so i'm really stoked to be back and doing some sims 4 content of course i know everyone has been begging me to do some stuff and i thought with the recent edition of mouse and keyboard thought it would be the perfect time um all of these keyboard shortcuts and everything were correct at the time of forming i know sims do love to change a bunch of things in between updates but that has been the video please make sure to let me know if there are any more controls that you'd like to or anything else that you would actually like to see sims 4 related on console any guys that you would like to know how to do please let me know in the comments below and i'll get back to you if you did enjoy the video please make sure to leave that like subscribe if you're a new around chat remember that we're all human differently and i'll see you guys very soon cheers